The Shallows. Ooh. Yeah. The Shallows. Ooh. Shallows. The... What? <laughs> what was that? You just did it. You just did that, no, though. No, you went Shallows. Well, you just went... Oh, but whatever. The Shallows. Right, yeah, so The Shallows uh, has got uh, Blake Lively up in a character called Nancy. She's surfing on a secluded beach. That was the beach that her mother, who's recently died from cancer, was... Uh, well, basically, it's a secluded beach in Mexico that nobody really knows about. Her mother loved this beach when she went there when she found out she was pregnant with Blake Lively's character and she's died of cancer and Blake Lively's character's dropped out of med school to go and visit this beach and take some time off to gather her thoughts and realise her position in life now. And she goes to this beach to sort of find her way again, I suppose. Mm. Uh, as however, as everything starts sort of nice and tranquil and idyllic, she goes out under the the surf and she stays out a bit too long and goes towards a whale carcass. And it's then when she realises she's in a shark feeding ground and she's then bitten by a shark and is stranded on a rock in the middle of the shallows where she's only a hundred yards, a couple of hundred yards from shore, but everywhere else around is the shark. Ooh. So you know, Intriguing. it's not exactly where you want to be, is it? Not really. You don't really want to be there. So the shallows and um, Blake Lively. Uh, for her character is is superbly written. I yeah. would say it's really well done. She's resourceful. She's always using her. I mean, as a medical student, you would expect it to be resourceful, and she is because she's always using her items to survive. She uses her earrings as little. Uh, uh, what am I thinking? Like she stitches. No, her legs stitches. Yeah, that, I don't know how I forgot stitches. She uses. <laughs> <laughs> she she uses a wetsuit. She cuts it up and uses that as a sort of tourniquet. She uses all of the items she has available to make her survive. It's like I, a video game, isn't it? When the, when it sort of like points out things. To yeah, you. Like the, the film does it in that way. Like it literally like shows you what she needs to use. She goes, uh-huh. oh yeah, and you use that. It's she, like, she's a highly empathetic character. She's highly intelligent. I do expect from a med student. And her emotional journey with going to sort of get full circle, I suppose, with her mother's journey, um, it makes you root for her to survive constantly. I mean, the majority of the film, as you see, is just Blake Lively talking. Yeah. But that is nicely offset by having her talk. To herself like one of her patients when tending to her wounds. She does have the bird well, as one well, of her patients. Ah, ah, yeah, and her talking companion, Susan the Seabird. Uh, she, just, the, they, don't, they don't name it. I just, no, uh, the, I just the, named the, it. The bird, doesn't, the bird doesn't talk. What? You said that you no, said by you, talking too. No, you said the, talk, the, you talk, said the talk. talking companion. Oh, no, well, she talk, talks to her companion. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking, and, what? <laughs> <laughs> stop, see, yeah, the, season doesn't, the seagull doesn't actually talk. It just... I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting Facebook messages through. Sorry, oh, I, I need bit, to turn that down. Blake Lively, Blake Lively, yeah, she, the, the seagull doesn't talk. We're getting off to it. <laughs> <laughs> the seagull doesn't talk, yeah. But you're, you're always aware of a mental state as she slowly loses faith as the ordeal goes on. But she never loses her composure, and that makes you properly root for her. And it's not really a one-hander, of course, if you include the shark. Ooh. Because, I mean, shark movies, it's not really been a, a clear path for them, really, has it, in the past. I mean, you've had Jaws, which is it's not about the shark, if you believe Mark Kermod, but it, it's roundly regarded as the best shark movie in ever. And then after that, there's quite a lot of sort of quite good ones like Deep Blue Sea and uh, stuff like uh, what's that uh, Deep Water no what was deep, it called yeah Deep Water I think. yeah Deep Water yeah and uh, The Reef and stuff like that that are, that are really good films and then you've got stuff like Sharknado and Mega Shark versus Crocodilosaurus and whatever the stupid yes. sci-fi ones are yeah. and finally it seems that we've got a film where it makes you scared of the shark again and it set them back 50 years Probably, mm, because just yeah. as they were starting to come back, they've finally been put back again, sadly. <laughs> but um, it, it, the shark is filled with a real sense of unpredictability and, ge- and danger, and it uses the sort of Jaws POV thing where it's coming up from the deep, and you never really know when it's going to attack, and it's really well done with the CG. And it, I feel like it, the fact that it starts so idyllic and tranquil and slowly descends into that hell just makes it all more striking when that first strike from the shark does come, and it's chaotic, and you're constantly wondering when it's going to happen. I was on edge. Yeah, when so. you like, it just, it, it, you're always wondering when it's going to happen, and then when it finally does happen, it's like, well... <sighs> but, and it, it's so grim as well, because she's forced to climb on that wheel carcass, and it's... Yeah. Oh, it's it's, re- it's really... Icky, she, like, it? she uses it as like, a grip. Like, she has to like put her hand in, yeah. the sh- in the wheel to like, get a hold of it. It's horrible, probably. and it's constant terror from all angles. I mean, uh, director John Collett Serra, who's a capable genre director, he did um, a couple of Liam Nielsen vehicles and uh, unknown and non-stop and he's an orphan as well he's house of wax and he's, he's so he's got he's got form with, with genre films that are sort of decently well received and it's beautifully shot especially it uses the landscape spectacularly it was filmed in australia mm. not mexico that, that that's i mean you can see i mean australia being a massive shark country i guess there's sense. always the, the, the possibility of an actual shark coming and taking yeah. a bite out of Blake lively and you, you get the vastness of that location and it pulls you into that fear of isolation and the, the primal fight between man and nature that, that everyone has in them because they you know as I'd, I'd absolutely crap myself 
if I was, I, I probably wouldn't leave the rock. To be honest, I probably just accept my fate. I sort of thought or the like same, doggy paddle the towards thing, shore, yeah. like desperately trying to get there and yeah, be eaten I'd, instantly. I'd, I'd give it a go. Uh, and it's. <laughs> I knew Joe would. Yeah. Oh, uh, of course, you, you would probably survive. No, I'd probably get killed. You'd probably just punch I mean, the shark. Punch the shark. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd get eaten. And that great <laughs> contrast between the paradise of the daytime and that dark, foreboding nightmares just it really pulls you into her journey and the fact that she's so close to the shore yet she's so so far away and she's constantly going from like other rocks and she's constantly reaching into the water to, uh, to grab items that she needs like the the um the dash cam camera that's on the the um helmets and uh, other items that she needs that are just just so out of reach and you never know where the sharks can come from and it's going come from all angles and it's constantly swiping people that are trying to rescue out of the water like jumping and leaping massive great white shark you really get into it it's it's really really intense and it it probably puts the fear of death back into you against nature and the soundtrack fits superbly with that initial beauty and then slow dive into terror that just it, it gets you it's like, like what it's like what cinema was made for wasn't it like ent- yeah. like the just sheer entertainment and thrills of like back in a time when like that was kind of there was no questions about all oh, the CGI wasn't very good. It was like literally what you saw on the screen was what it was. And, isn't and it, so it, it nice? was it was the same in this one. Like I, I'd heard it described as a B movie, which I kind of it, there's definitely bits of it there. But I think like it's not just that. It is definitely a more emotional film and a more interesting, complex and and really really fun. But not in a crappy way, which I yeah, like. Yeah. I was I, don't you think it's nice to have a proper summer thriller? That's delivered after a lot oh, of the disappointments this summer. It. The ga- it has delivered. The gasps in the room was the bit I liked the most. The way the oh. the, the, the most visceral part of the film you had me and like both of us just going. Oh, it, oh. It, yeah, so much blood. Yeah, I mean, that's, I guess that's a given with a shark film. But yeah, I mean, it's smart. It's yeah. really well crafted, and it's a proper thriller. That's it's consistently intense, and it always keeps you guessing. You never really know where it's going to come from. It's, it's oh god, <laughs> I, 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 it's fine. And finally, a great shark movie. You know that isn't something sci-fi I've put out. It's true. Like Shark Needle. Yeah. Oh, isn't the new one literally called The Fourth Awakens? Yeah. Something like that. Oh, it's, stop it. I think everyone's a bit bored of yeah. those now. And, and this came back. We, we, we saw Pete's Dragon, then Nerve, and then The Shallows yeah. on the Friday. So we had two thrillers back to back. And it's fair to say I, I nearly had a heart attack exhausted. after The Shallows. It Absolutely was, exhausted. <sighs> uh, well, that's The Shallows recommend. Yeah. It did make me want a seagull as a pet. I'm not going to deny. Nah, because it bites her. It bites her on the finger, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, because it wants to reset its... Shoulder. Shoulder, yeah. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh...